Hey everybody, welcome back to Terry Mater Gardens. If you're fascinated by reptiles, especially snakes, then you're in for a real treat. Today we're going to explore the Hog Island Boa, an incredible and rare subspecies of the boa constrictor that has captured the hearts of reptile enthusiasts worldwide. Did you know that the Hog Island Boa can actually change color? These snakes had the remarkable ability to alter their color depending on their surroundings. During the day, they tend to be lighter in color, helping them blend into sunlit areas, but at night, their coloration darkens, offering them better camouflage in the shadows. This ability not only makes them unique, but also helps them survive in the wild. Hog Island boas are smaller compared to other boa constrictor species. Typically, they grow to about four to six feet long, with females being larger than the males. The body is usually light gray or tan color, with subtle pink or orange hues along their sides. Unlike the darker, heavier patterned mainland boas, Hog Island boas are known for their softer, more muted coloration, which adds to their beauty. Their iridescent scales often catch the light, giving them a glossy, almost shimmering look. As their name suggests, Hog Island boas are native to Hog Island, which is part of the Cayos Cochinos Archipelago off the northern coast of Honduras. This small island habitat is tropical with a combination of dry and wet forested areas. Unfortunately, due to habitat destruction and illegal collection for the pet trade, the wild population of hog island boas has drastically declined, making them rare in their natural environment. Conservation efforts are in place, but most of the hog island boas you will encounter today are bred in captivity. In terms of behavior, hog island boas are generally calm and docile, which is why they are a popular choice for pet owners. They are less aggressive than other boa species and can be easily handled with the right care and respect. Being primarily nocturnal, they are more active at night, using their excellent climbing abilities to hunt. As for their diet in the wild, hog island boas feed on small mammals, birds, and sometimes reptiles. In captivity, they do well on a diet of appropriately sized rodents, usually fed once every one to two weeks. Remember, it's important to avoid overfeeding them as obesity can be an issue in captivity. When it comes to housing, hog island boas require an enclosure that mimics their natural habitat. A large terrarium with plenty of space for climbing and hiding essentials. You should include branches, logs, and plants to provide both mental and physical stimulation. Make sure the enclosure is secure as these boas are skilled escape artists. The temperature inside the enclosure should range between 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit with a warmer basking spot. Humidity is also crucial, so maintain a level between 60 to 70 percent will keep them healthy. When it comes to companionship, hog island boas generally do best housed alone. While they may not be aggressive towards other snakes, housing them together can lead to stress, competition for food, and increased risk of disease transmission. And that's it for today's introduction to the Hog Island Boa. I hope you learned something new about these stunning and fascinating snakes. If you're considering one as a pet, remember that they are a long-term commitment and require plenty of care and attention. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on reptiles and other amazing animals. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.